number. Total number of Roshan kills. Uh, I don't. I don't I'll say three. Three. Mm. I'll say it's either. That's I fair. Think it's gonna be three or four. Three or four. I they think have, there's a slaughter bench on the side of the dire. It's gonna be three or four. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That's a very good I'll, point. I'll, I'll say three. Oh, there's three, four, or five plus. The question is, is this game going to go late enough for it to go to four? That's, it's very possible. It'll take 40 minutes if, for it to, to get to four. I'm, I'm going to say three. I, I'll... Three. Okay. okay will be the, Will there be a quarter no. snipe? I'm going to say no. Highest... So. Player with the highest net worth by it's 10 minutes. Sumail, I would say. I'm going to go with the juggernaut. Okay, you do that. I'm going with Sumail. Total number of towers killed before 25 minutes. Uh, oh, they have true. the Terrorblade, but there's that's about it, really. There's Lush on the other side, so... I'm gonna say 0 to 5. I don't know, DC did pretty well with not a good tower pushing lineup last game, but I guess they were crushing. I mean, that was a stomp. I don't uh, think this will be as stompy. Um, I'm gonna trust my gut and say 6 to 10. Okay, fine, I'll go with 6 to 10 as well. Alright. Well, we'll see how things start out as EG will secure the top rune. Well, let's take a look at Terrorblade's items because I think this is important and, and the most interesting thing. You have double tango, poor man's shield, GG brands, plus it, fairy fire. He's playing it like he's playing PL mid. Right. But this is not PL mid. Yeah, and the, and the, and the, ma the major difference is that you, you don't have that escapability with Doppelganger. Um, you're very squishy, but he does have 12 armor at his first level. Yeah, so but Leshrac is a... Uh... He doesn't care about armor, really. I mean, well, he... a, a bit. I mean, you, you do want to get in the value off your right clicks, but... Ushrak does have a lot of magic damage. If, if he gets a poor man's shield proc and he has a 11 armor, then you're really not going to be doing any damage. And, and you can see it already. Samil just goes straight for meta. He wants to get off to a good fast start. Speaking of the fast start, MGW caught with a magic missile. Fairy fire will go, but he gets the ring crushed up. They don't have smoke screen. They'll have to dive under the tower a little bit. Another fairy fire committed, but it is still first blood for PPD. And uh, it was a little close for Zai there. Nonetheless, it is still going pretty well. Splitter will miss from CC and C. The radius at level 1, not very large. And he's missing out on a lot of CS. And this is just the, the Terror Blade with Metamorphosis. It's very hard to CS against this hero when he's in this form. This is definitely a new look that I don't think we've seen out of any team so far, the mid Terror Blade. The problem is, is what happens when he's not in Metamorphosis? Right, that's, this that's, is where that CC, and, is really long. CC and C has to make up the most ground here. And even with the Quelling Blade, I don't, you should still be able to get good farm for CC and C. You should be able to deny just fine. Uh, the, man, I, the good thing about Terror Blade is that actually his damage is pretty good even without Metamorphosis. Is the animation is also fine, 61 plus 2 damage plus the Quelling Blade. I actually think mid Terror Blade might be pretty okay in this matchup. I mean, it's it's. it's I'd say this is not the the greatest judge, just because like watching Sumail against other mids, especially mids that aren't the the typical quality that you know that Sumail is. I mean, I'm just saying Sumail is a better player, and it's hard to say. It's like, this guy wins lanes that he's not supposed to. Ooh, DC dodges the match missile. There's the wave of terror. They might dive under the tower. No TP's coming in. Reflections out. There's the lightning storm. PPD under the tower. Split up misses, but he might still get the kill. The tower will be able to secure with the creeps, but it does end up DC going down on the side of FDL. But look at all the damage the terror blade will take. He'll have to use the salve. You're right, Sumail is just another caliber of mid players. He won a TI for God's sake, so this is this is not an easy matchup for FDL and for CC and C. And and already five now up to seven last hits, thirteen going the way of Sumail and one kill. And Zai's already wrapping around back to top MGW in the tree line. I think they've spotted him. He's low in health. He's walking back out, fear hunting with sprint up. And MJW should end up falling still level one. And he is not going to get level two off this. As fear and PPD combine up to get the kill yet again. The only thing going well for FDL is Beast's farm in the bottom lane. That is the only lane they are really remotely winning at this point. Jamal's popped the Metamorphosis again. Another Split Earth off the mark for CCNC. This is one of those things where CCNC played against Weeha and the Manila Major Qualifiers and he got crushed. It's feeling like that same sort of thing for CCNC. He has a sentry down. Zai walked into range. Split Earth's back up. He can try to go for that kill. There's the reflection. And look at that damage. He just bombs him with two right clicks with the artillery from 
The you metamorphosis. Know, what I really want to see, I want to see these these two supports on FDL go and do something else yeah, besides sit in the what bot are they, lane and pull. What are they doing? There's nobody bottom. It's not like they're getting kills. Yeah. And CCNC needs help, man. This, this is, is uh, uh, if you're seeing CNC, I think you're yelling at your team right now. I would be, and or or just MJW, like one of those two heroes. I don't really think you can help him, MJW. I think you can give some room and space to CCNC though. Yeah, you can definitely help mid, and CCNC is. How do you feel oh, about God. this build? He's gone two one one, and I feel like it's it's not a it's not a build that really punishes Terrorblade. I like, you want to be able to punish. Him when he's not in metamorphosis, you want to be able to. Yeah, him lightning out. storm is definitely the better build if you're looking to get kills on the terror blade for sure. Oh, and Zai is looking for MJW, and MJW trying to deny himself. He's not aggroing the creeps though, and Zai finds himself a freebie. Not only that, but an I mean, Oracle. I'm... They did get the kill onto that mid lane terror blade. Yeah, and that's uh, something I feel like they needed to do earlier. They needed to be able to punish the terror blade. Um, you know, before CNC, CCNC got ganked twice. Yeah, if they could have maybe just let him die once and then rotated, this would be much better. And he's actually only died once. CCNC's only died once. Yeah, he he got, he only died once. There was a second gank on him, but it was unsuccessful. Successful, right? I thought he died twice for a second. There still is that ward there, by the way, and they know that ward is there. Although they could just think that Zai guessed or or knew that he was jungling. And Stan King, well, no, they know the words there. They're going to drop the sentry down. If Zai walks up, he'll be in range. He knows this. He's going to back away. And he's actually just going to shadow Oracle for the time being. And another rough start. This time, MJW, unfortunately, not having the same sort of luck as that Lena jungle that he had earlier. And with uh, it's good that he didn't pick that hero because if there's a Riki in the game, he just dies even more, I think, in that situation. But nothing is really going well. There, there's... Three of the top four of net worth right now, all on the side of EG, and again, a universe tide hunter. That's going to be fantastic. He's up to 2,000 net worth. Sumail's up to 2.3, and Fear in that top lane getting that two assists is up to 1,000 gold. He's going to go for Armlet first, which is the and that seems to be the build in the safe lane on Slardar. Everything is is uh, coming up Millhouse, if you will, for evil geniuses right now. You know something that Sumail really likes to do on a lot of a lot of his heroes. Especially Invoker is just he gets ganked once and then he just goes into the jungle. He just and uses his four spirits. I do wish that they were sending somebody mid to to leech experience, but I mean Zai's leeching enough experience right now already. He's level four, so I, I guess I really can't complain. He might even be able to kill MJW again. Yeah, I don't. It's gonna be close. He's got no fairy fire. He's got the windlace. Yeah, that windlace will keep him alive. Zai's not quick enough, even with the orb of venom, to chase him down. So, but he knows that he leached all of that experience, and, and MJW knows that he could have gotten level 5, maybe close to level 6 off of that stack, and he didn't, so Dai, of course, is getting a lot of experience out of just being around Mikey Jai White. It's not terrible. It's not the worst game for FDL, but it's certainly not the best thing right now, Charlie. No, I mean, I wouldn't say it's it's that bad at all. Um, CCNC is starting to get farm and levels up now after that bad early start, and you know, Visa has a free lane, man. Visa does have a free lane. He was at one point highest in net worth, and and again, that prediction is for 10 minutes for highest in net worth. Sumail, who I picked, is uh, he's getting there, but not quite. 300 away. Smoke? No. Zai's just going to walk down bottom. Invis with Cloak and Dagger Universe will head down there waddling up as the Watermelon with Arcanes and level 7. A Ravage could come in with a Smoke screen on top and it looks like they might go for Visa. There's the Anchor Smash. Zai not going for it. Getting the phase instead. Now there's going to be the Blade Fury. Smoke screen coming out too late. Zai really wanted those phase boots. Omni Slash is ready. Ravage will go though and Visa. The glimpse back, and it's going to be enough to save his life. They turn with the Omni, and Bisa gets the kill on the Reiki. Excellent glimpse back from Franz. These supports have made plays for FDL to keep them in the game. They will do that again once more. Uh, this is a bit of uh, poor coordination from Universe and Zai. Is I smoke screened a little too late. Yeah, he, I just don't see why you do that. I guess they just didn't have the damage without the phase boots. Well, well, what they wanted to do was to bait 
the Juggernaut into taking a little more damage without knowing that the Ricky was there. And then after Universe had maybe gushed oh, or smashed a couple times, then you Ravaged and then you smoke screen and then you can kill him in the uh, first. This ganking. Now PPD gets involved with, I think, what was in this room. They easily kill Mikey J. White and Zai gets involved with his phase boots newly minted. Top lane, they'll get even more room as Samel has rotated to push into a tier 2 tower now with a thousand gold. Looks like he might be even getting bonds at some point. I just think FDL, they are kind of all over the place. Zai is going to get dusted up. Stan King doesn't have Fortune Zen, however, and this this chase is uh, difficult, at least. But PPD will come in and zone him out. Wave of Terror swap back, not their Magic Missile range. Unfortunately, a little out, out of range. Zai has smoke screen, should slow him down enough with Magic Missile coming in, and that will grab them the kill. So that was a pretty optimistic play for Stan King on the Oracle, and uh, FDL kind of continue to struggle here as there's now almost a 3,000 net worth advantage coming out for the Bleed Blue squad. Yeah, and you see Fear is starting to get active now as well after he picks up that armlet. I don't think they can really kill him. Even with Omni Slash, I don't. With armlet on, I don't. I don't see them being able to do enough damage. They'll rotate three down bottom to try anyway, though. Or four, I guess. They have Glimpse, they have Static Storm. And Fear seems to know something is up, despite there not being a single Observer Ward there. And it looks like Zai is going to be first contact. He's going to go right around. And they won't scout him out. Smoke won't break, actually. This is probably in favor of FDL. MJW, no Blink Dagger, still has Lasso, though. They'll walk up high ground. Fear is near the tower. Firefly will go, and this is tough. He's got the sprint. There's the Thunderstrike. Lasso will come out. And they have the damage. There's the Static Storm. And yes, with Fear Fine Flames, Split Earth, CC and C's damage is more than enough. But there's the Ravage. You'll hit onto all four. Universe comes in. The Anchor Smash. He's low, but Stan King doesn't have enough damage to the tank. Omni Slash will come through on PPD. Blade Fury, and it also bounces to Smail as well. Double kill for Zai. The Blade Fury on PPD, not enough to get the kill. And another great magic missile. He'll try to TP out, and it looks like he he might just barely make it away. It is a three for one exchange as EG rotate and force very quickly. Yeah, it's always really risky when you go for a pickoff like that under the tower, and you should you, you have to expect that rotations are going to come in. There's a tide hunter that's you have to know has ravage because he hadn't used it in a while. Yep. Just uh, super risky, especially now with the new tower aura. Yeah, that 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 armor it's pretty nice. I keep forgetting about it, but it's pretty good, and it's going to help against those dives. That was, like I said, an optimistic play with the Bat Rider and the Firefly and the Lasso. You, you got to go for it, you, I think, but well, Terra Blade top lane, no Lasso up for 20 seconds, however, but the Glimpse back will catch him. There's the Kinetic Field, the Blade Fury. He does have Thunder, but it's not in time. Purifying Flames takes him down too quickly. He wasn't expecting that burst damage. All right. Nice kill, but they need a lot more than that for FDL. Yeah, and the, that is a, a pretty nice pick off. Bit sloppy from Sumail to be farming up in that position, especially when the rest of FDL was. CC? Tricks of the trade keep Zai alive, and if there was a stick up for CC and C, he probably gets that kill and stays alive. Unfortunately, he doesn't have that regen, the magic wand. Pretty nice item to have. I know you want the point booster, the bottle, the soul ring. The magic wand is maybe the item. There. Yeah, this is really the problem with Lushrak these days is that, I mean, people have been trying to make it Alliance. S4 has been trying to make it work for a while, but yeah. in this meta, when everybody tries to pick tanky cores or heroes that are hard to kill, and Lushrak is squishy in itself, it just it just doesn't work. Not sure you if can't punish lanes scouted. as hard anymore. Lightning got nerfed. He was so good, what, two patches ago? Yeah, because he, he was so good at dominating his lane, and you just spam out lightning over and over again. Yeah, they did a lot of damage. Anymore. But now, everybody is like, cores are pretty tanky, it's harder to burst through people, and Leshrac is, can be pretty squishy himself. Like, he gets stunned and then initiated on, he dies pretty fast, and then if you're relying on him to do your damage, that's most of your damage gone, real quick. It's like a worse Death Prophet. Yeah, I mean, it was banned out in CC. Despite having a bad early game in the first game, of, or actually against the game against uh, Complexity, he still was able to come back with the help of his team. This game, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. I just think there's 
They need PKBs, they need tankiness, they need damage. They all pumped out a lot of it through the flesh rack with uh, leveled up Edict and, and Pulse Nova, but for now it's... It's. I just think that you kind of have to get lucky if you're FDL. You kind of have to hit the best static storm of your life, get a good lasso off, and and hope to God that you don't get sundered or five man ravaged or I don't know. There's now a blink up for fear, so we can get like a three man crush off. There's just there's so many things FDL have to avoid, and on top of that, they will have to avoid the smoke gank in order to stay alive. Not to mention the mech is up for universe, making things even harder to burst down these heroes one way or another. They're going to run in and uh, fear if he had vision here, he would get off a great triple stun. He's going to find everybody. Three men stun comes out regardless. Ravage on four. Universe and crew will kill everyone. Bronze will get off the static storm. It's going to be too late more than likely. The next will come through. Fear does take a lot of damage. Not falling just yet. Here comes Sumail. Fear is alive and they get the kills. They actually do take down Universe in the end. It's too dead, but it's just the ages. As Spear will finally respawn, and MJW, the fifth dead hero for FDL. Full team wipe. Spear starts out with an amazing slithering crush, and the follow-up universe ravage be expected from EG. I mean, FDL doesn't have the items, they don't have the levels to fight into EG, they really need beat. Like, that Lush Rack needs so many items right now. He needs this Bloodstone, he needs PKB, Batrider needs a PKB as well. I mean, even when. He does. There's always the Venge to counter the, the lasso. Oh, it's we haven't even seen a swap yet on the lasso, have we? No, it's just... One stack, the die. <laughs> Good trick to the trade. The trick to the trade was actually on top of where he was glimpsed. Sai will end up falling. TPD's gonna be next. Alright. Not a bad fight, CCNC though. He's gotta deal with all of this damage. Jamil's gonna turn his attention to CCNC. Fear just him down. So they're in crush. Misses Omni Slash on top. Great armlet toggle. And the Sunder comes out. They were so close to winning the engagement. Another toggle and this time a badge. Blade Fury should be enough. Uh, toggle's not there this time, but still, Sumail is cleaning house. And again, the only survivor is MJW as Universe and Sumail are coming back in and looking to finish off the final hero. It was so close for FDL. It was so close. The Sunder just needed to not be there. The armlet toggles just needed to not be there. They would have gotten those kills. They wouldn't have finished off the fight. It would have been three to maybe four in terms of the exchange that was done, and FDL just couldn't quite secure it at the end of the engagement. I mean, even then, if you're FDL, you take a trade like that. You did kill the Slardar. You got some... You did get the, the two supports, and at th this point, if you're this far behind, no, you, you, t you take what you can get. And the, 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 good news, the good news in this situation is the high ground has not been breached, and high ground defense-wise, it's okay. It could be better. CCNC is good at clearing creep waves. The inevitable problem was going to be the Terror Blood coming up high ground with Metamorphosis, Dragonlance, S and Y, Universe Blink Ravage, which is done in 250 gold or 200 gold. And that's going to be the problem. C, C, and C will sit top. Zai is going to come through and uh, he's going to scout things well, out. He does see that they're trying to bait the Leshrac. Well, are they even trying to bait the Leshrac? I don't know. I think, yeah, a little bit. They were sitting behind him. Well, they have a ward scouting it out, so. It's not going to be successful. Won't scout Zai. This is Observer Ward for the Radiant team. They'll scout Z Fear as well as TPD coming over. Get back up in smoke, but I, I hope they don't do it. They did it very close to that Observer Ward. I, and, and CCNC actually did do it under the you Observer Ward. You want to know what's insane? What's that? Zai has a diffuse Yeah, blink. he's very farmed. And he's still not as farmed as MJW, although he's close. That Blink Dagger's helping a lot. Zai, first contact, they need dust. They don't have it. They'll drop the sentry, but he gets off the smoke screen. And no last goes. He blinked into the smoke screen. Static Storm will catch on to just Zai. And it might actually bring him down. Swap back. Fortune's dead. He's sitting at 40 HP. Will regen up, and now the chase is on. Dan King getting caught, amp damage, false promise will go, keeping him alive, the right click's coming through, but he gets bashed up, he can't TP home, and he's going to go down, he's just wasting time for EG. Do dead for FDL, and the push down mid will commence with Ravage still up and ready to blink Ravage, I should remind you, and probably meta. And they, they will go for the tier 3 tower, and probably the end of the game here, unless 
FDL can mount a significant defense. Well, the good thing for FDL is that their respawn timers are so low, so right. the Lush Rock and the Oracle should be up. I mean, by the time they lose the tier 3. But the, th the thing is, is that FDL or EG have such a good pushing lineup. It's definitely ridiculous. Yeah, even when they are up, there's not... They're probably going to lose the full set of racks. So they're in crush. We'll find Franz. The amp damage is up, and he dies so quickly, and they're looking for more PPD. Can't find that swap back universe. We'll go to work. He has the anchor smash. Swap, and there it is. CCNC. Smoke screen is up. They drop the rabbit down onto two. MDW. They'll find another Slytherin crush with the tricks of the trade on top, and that is it. GG is called four dead for FDL. EG finished them off handedly at 18 minutes into the game. Charlie. Hello? <sighs> Yeah. Where, uh, it was a much quicker game than I think we expected. I thought FDL would give them a better run for their money. Like I said, this was this was EG's first small hurdle. We'll call it a little bump in the 